Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have something fun to plan. So I was thinking of making a scrunchie, but then I thought, what if I make a scrunchie with beads inside? So I have a bunch of beads right here. There's some I got on Michael's. Um, there's more right here. And so I have all this really small yarn that I wouldn't really use for cardigans or anything because it's so thin. So we're gonna try to make a scrunchie with beads. So I'm thinking of using this purple color with these leftover purple beads, just all of them, because what doesn't go better than purple and darker purple? So let's try that. I hope I have enough yarn. I'm a little nervous of the quantity, but we'll try it. And then we're gonna use a really small hook. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this hook, but look how small it is. Um, this one is 2.25 millimeter. So let me see if I can find three. That would be better. So now let's let's try to do this thing. I'm just gonna lower this a little bit. And so actually I tried a 2.25 and it's perfect. So now let's, first thing we're gonna do is actually put, uh, put the beads on our string. So let's do that really quick. And um, yeah, hopefully it works. Yeah. Oh, careful. There's like an orange bead in there. Oh, they look so beautiful. I don't think I have enough, but um, we'll figure it out. I'm going to count them as well. So I need a needle. There is a needle somewhere in here. There it is. Perfect. Oh, yes. So the way that I was thought to... Um, Put yarn on the hook is get a really um, simple thread on and then just kind of make a tie on it. Doesn't fall off. Perfect. And so now we have this um, really small needle with yarn on it. And then we're going to put our actual like yarn over it, kind of like that. And now we're going to put beads on it. So one, hopefully they all fit through the one, two, perfect. See, they just slide on really nicely. One, two, let's see how many we'll have. A few more, there you go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I just finished putting all of them on. Um, so it ended up being 136. So you see all the beads, so I'm super excited. So let me write down that number on whatever I have, so 136. So just so you remember, cause right now we're gonna do a little math. 136 beads. So the pattern that I'm gonna be using is on my phone, I just realized. So let me pull it up on my computer. So you're gonna go to hobby.com. So hobby is a very affordable yarn. Essentially this is where I got the hobby yarn, which I didn't realize that's how it was gonna come so small. So I just used it for chokers and now we're gonna use it for scrunchies. So why not? So we're gonna go on their website and we're gonna look up free patterns. So they have free patterns and they have a really nice free scrunchy pattern. So let me pull you around so you guys can see also with me. So I typed um, hobby yarn, oops, spelled it wrong. <laughs> and then we're just gonna go to their website. Looks like this. And then if you look on top, this says home yarn and patterns. So if you go to patterns, you see free patterns. But we're gonna click crochet and we're gonna do scrunchy so i don't see it so let's put free patterns and then we'll put crochet and then we can look it up oh, oh, oh. so let's see where it would be accessories right i believe it's accessories so water bottles and these are all free there they are perfect these are the scrunchies oh i forgot which one i made I think glitter scrunchies. I believe it's this one. The fluffy scrunchie that I've made before. So it's a really nice way. And a lot of actually websites do have free patterns on their website. So your inspiration, you can go on their website and they'll have free patterns. So we're going to make these ones. So you just click download the pattern. It's going to go straight into your... Um, and you don't have to sign up if you don't want to. I'm just going to put download pattern right here. Real fun, quick tool. 
just hope it's the right one and then you just open it up and there it is um yep so so turn with first chain that does not replace any stitches um so we're always going to chain one at the um end of each row and I just read the instruction and even has really nice photos. So let's start working on that. So first we're gonna do some math. So we're gonna chain 86, crochet one double crochet in the second chain from the hook, crochet one double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row, 85. So we're gonna have 85. So 80, I'm gonna write it down. My sticky note, 85 chains and repeat row two until you have seven rows in total so far seven rows so 85 times seven i'm gonna grab my calculator right here so 85 times seven is we're gonna make pretty much 595 double crochet total using this spider tree 595 double crochet total and we only have 136 beads. So I'm gonna divide 595, divide by 136, the number of beads that we have, and we get 4.375. So I did some math and I didn't like how the second row looks because the beads is gonna go on the other side. So what we're gonna do is gonna do every other row of beads and that's gonna give us more beads, sorry. <laughs> that's gonna give us more beads in that row. So instead of chain, instead of putting a bead after every five double crochet. We're gonna put it every after every third double crochet, and then we're gonna do normal double crochet the next row. And then the next row we're gonna do, so it's every other row that we're gonna do the bead. So let's undo this really quick and start over, which is totally fine. <laughs> okay, so I just finished, oh, it's so hard to see. Right here, if I put it like this, you can kind of see the beads coming out. Anyway, I finished the first row, so now we're going to chain one, and our second row is just going to be super simple, we're just going to do double crochet with no beads at all, so then um, our beads are kind of sticking out on the same side, and that's why I'm doing that. So I'm going to do, like, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go off the screen, and I'm going to do it on my own, and then I'm going to do two more rows, and then our last two rows, I'm going to show you how I do the beads, and how I do the double crochet, which I'm sure you already know, but I'm just gonna zoom in for you. So if you would like to do it as well, um, you can follow that tutorial, yeah. Okay, so we are about to go on our fifth row and this is what it looks like. Do you guys see the beads? It looks better from this side. So now we're going to um, do the beads again. I'm gonna show you how to do it and then just another row of just double crochet and then we should be done in three more rows. So we're always gonna chain one. Sorry, I don't really have a better angle. Let me see if I can move it this way maybe so we're gonna chain one and we're gonna churn our work so here is our work and we don't have any beads on this side which is that's why we did every other row because if we did every row then we have beads on each side which would not be fun so now we're gonna double crochet three times so yarn over double crochet in the first one one double crochet in the second one so remember after three we're gonna put the bead in and then third double crochet so you're gonna complete your double crochet right and now we're gonna slide a bead in so we're gonna take our beads and literally just pull it pull it all the way to so it looks something like this so we have three double crochet and then we have a bead and then we're gonna yarn over and go oops yarn over and go straight into the next one so super simple one next one two and three and then again we're going to pick up a bead and we're going to slide it all the way to that um edge and then we're going to straight go into the next double crochet so yarn over and go straight into the next one one two three and then again slide that bead and then go straight into, so very simple. And so this is what it looks like. Pretty cool, very nice. I like this color, it's kind of fun. And so let's continue doing that. Um, I hope you got the hang of it. It's very simple, don't overthink it. It's just literally double crochet and then you slide a bead in. You don't have to do anything between it or anything. And so um, keep going and I'm gonna finish it and then um, we'll attach it together onto a hair tie. 
and then let's see how it looks super excited okay so we just finished the seventh row of the double crochet for scrunchie because that's what it says to do on the hobby website and so now i have a hair tie that i got from um i just got a few hair ties from target i believe or you know walgreens you can get them anywhere and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start incorporating our hair tie so we still have quite a few beads left but we're not gonna use them so oh what if we did use them okay so we want to work on the wrong side so i believe we're just going to loop this around and we're just gonna start closing it so let's see so let me see um we did that and then you work so fold the work around the elastic band crochet the sides together with single crochet repeat all the way around so we're gonna do single crochet okay so we're gonna go into our first stitch and put our yarn around Take your time. So right now we're attaching it. So you can see this is attached. So let's keep going and keep folding it. Awesome. So here is the scrunchie. It looks awesome. I actually really like it. Um, so now let's see what we do after that. Repeat this all the way around. We did that. And so we're gonna use our yarn needle, sew the ends together, okay? So we're gonna cut off the yarn. I like to leave a long enough strand so we can kind of go, oops, almost lost the beads. I'm gonna put the beads in one of these or let's put it back in here. I guess we can use them for another project. Just, cool. Few beads left, could use it for a choker or something. Sorry, I'm like so quiet. I just realized. Okay, so let's get our needles. So we got our needle. So now let's work our, this is a big needle. I'm so excited. I actually really like this. Oh, don't forget to chain one really quick. Chain one. Cut off the yarn, which we already did. So now, Let's use our um, needle. My needle is pretty big, but I think it should work. Perfect. And we're just gonna sew in the ends. So maybe let's go from from to the back. Oh, this looks beautiful. I don't know if anyone else ever done um, scrunchie with beads, and I don't know how it's gonna feel on my hair. So that's gonna be another another tester sorry if i'm too quiet like talking into the scrunchie and i like to go back and forth a few times around just so it's very stable you know we don't have an issue of ever it falling out and so just repeat that a few more times and then we'll hide the end very sorry if i'm a little quiet <laughs> nice and you can't really even see it, but I cut it. I, you see that? It's just right there. You really can't see it, so that's awesome. So let's keep going because I like to tie it a couple more times. So I'm just cut off the yarn and boom! There we have an awesome scrunchie. Let's put it on and see how it looks. Okay, so I'm gonna put on the scrunchie. Feels really nice on my hand. The beads do not bother. So let's. Wow. Wow. I love it. It looks really nice. Here's a better lighting. 
So here is the scrunchie. Super comfortable. I love it. The beads do not bother at all. Um, yeah, super cute. I'm super happy how it turned out. I'm going to make a few more because I like my colors to pop a little bit. So I'm going to make different color yarn with different color beads to kind of make it a little bit more pop so you can see the beads even better. So let's do that. And then, um, yeah, I hope you liked this video and enjoyed watching it. And if you do end up making your own scrunchie, tag me at Nitty Life, Nitty Life on Instagram or YouTube, whatever it is. Um, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in my next video. Ooh. Yeah. yeah.